Welcome to my channel Technical Arquen. Today's topic tuple. So at first we should know what is tuple. A tuple is an immutable sequence of Python objects. A tuple identical to lists in all respects except tuples are defined by enclosing elements in parentheses instead of square brackets. Okay? And also tuples are immutable. Let's go to the computer screen. Now today we discuss tuple in Python. So at first what is tuple? Tuples are defined in Python by enclosing a comma separated sequences of elements in parentheses. Okay. So go for an example. Suppose we are write t equal and we are put a parenthesis and write technical okay after we write r co n and after we write or no okay and press enter so if we write if we type then t and press enter so we get the elements of the tuple okay and also if we write type and within parentheses we are write t so it will shows that it's a tuple okay now the another example suppose write t and within square bracket write 0 and press enter so we get the 0th index element which is which is technical okay also we can using slice means slicing is also applied in tuple how Suppose we are write t and within square bracket write 1 colon and close the square bracket and enter. So we get Arcoin and Orno because it start from 1 index. So 1 index value is Arcoin and it go up to the last. Okay. Now go for the another example. Means for tuple is concerned. So this is the 0th index. This is the 1th index. This is the second index means 0 1 2 the index number start from 0 1 2 and also the negative index will be there this this position will be minus 1 this position will be minus 2 this position will be minus 3 so if we write t and within square bracket write minus 1 and press enter so you get or no why because minus 1 index value is or no okay now go for the another example suppose we are write t and within square bracket we are write 0 and then we write India okay now enter so give an error why because tuple is mutable we cannot modify its item okay and also for the another example is concerned suppose we take t equal and within a parenthesis suppose we write the value like 12 and after the right or no as a string literal and after that suppose a floating point 2.3 and close the parentheses and enter and if we write t and enter so we get the value from there means a tuple can have any number of items and they may be a of different types like integer float string etc okay now go for the another example suppose we write t equal and we are just give the opening parenthesis and closing parenthesis and press enter and then i write t and press enter so it just give an empty parenthesis means it's an empty tuple okay if we write type and we are write this t and press enter so it provide that it is a type of tuple okay now suppose we are provide a, another example suppose we are write a equal or no okay now sorry it's a error so write a equal or no okay now you write b equal suppose we are write 12 and after write suppose c equal 23.34 okay after that we are just write a comma b comma c and press enter so what happened abc given in form of tuple why 
because python displays the response of this particular example in parentheses because it is implicitly interpreting the input as tuple okay now go for the another example suppose we are write t equal and we are write within parentheses 2 okay and after that if we write type and write t so we get integer why because we are declaring a tuple but here it's given an integer actually what happened when we define a tuple with a single item we must include a trailing comma just before the closing parenthesis means the above example should be written in that way t equal and within parenthesis write 2 comma and then close the parenthesis and now if we write type and write t now we get it's a type of tuple okay means when we define one element within a tuple so we should define a trailing comma just before the closing parenthesis okay now go for the another example suppose we are write a equal and suppose we are write 2 comma 4 comma 7 comma 8 comma 9 comma 10 okay now we are using suppose len a it will provide 6 means len is a function which calculate how many tuple elements are present within within a tuple object okay so len a it provides 6 because there is a 6 elements is there 2 4 7 8 9 10 okay now also the another function max a so within the within the tuple a which element is maximum it provide 10 if we write min a so it will provide 2 because within that element of the tuple the minimum value is 2 okay now the another example for function is concerned is index suppose we are write a dot index and suppose we are write within parenthesis 10 and press enter it will provide 5 why because it find the position of the element in the tuple means 10 it is the position of 5 because if there is a 6 element this is a 0 1 2 3 4 5 so it is an index number is 5 so it's provide the index number okay suppose if you write another function count so writes a dot count and suppose we are right here 8 and parenthesis close and enter it provide 1 what it count it count the occurrence of the element in the tuple means here 8 is occur only one time that's why it's the output is 1 okay next if we write del a and press enter and after that if we write a so is an error why del a means remove an entire tuple okay so remember removing individual tuple elements is not possible in python okay now i am give an example of packing and unpacking of tuple okay Actually what happened in packing we place value into a new tuple while in unpacking we extract those values back into variables okay so go for an example so suppose write x equal and within parentheses suppose we are write or nope okay after write 12 and we take another element r co n okay and close this parenthesis okay now if we write within parentheses a comma b comma c okay and close this parenthesis and give an equal and write x and press enter so now you write print a so we get or no why because this line is actually doing packing means the element are stored within the tuple object x and the second line actually your tuple unpacking means the element which is present within this tuple x are store respectively within a b c means a variable store the element or nope b store the element 12 and c store the element arcoin that's why when we print a so we get or nope again if we print b so we get 12 and if we print c so we get arcoin okay now go for the another example join two tuples okay so what happened to join two or more tuples 
we can use the plus operator okay so go for an example suppose write t1 equal and in, within pencil suppose write within double quote a within double quote b and within double quote c okay three string elements are given within the tuple t1 and another t2 tuple where we are just provide integer 1 comma 2 comma 3 okay and now what happen we are write t3 equal t1 plus t2 now actually we are doing the joining okay now if we write print t3 and close this parenthesis so we get the all element which is present in t2 and t1 all are present within the t3 okay i hope that you have understood my topic for more videos keep watching my channel technical arcoin